This is tutorial number nine, and we will be covering advanced lofted base extruding. To start off, let's open up a part file, click File, click New, click Part, click OK. Now for advanced loft base extruding, what we're going to do is create multiple sketches like we did before, but instead of when we go to extrude it that it follows its natural curve, we're going to impose a curve onto the sketches. To start off, let's click the front plane, click a sketch, click rectangle, and let's draw a square in the top left hand corner. Click OK. Now let's insert a reference plane, click reference geometry, click plane, open up the tree, click front plane, and we'll make this 200 millimeters away. Click enter, click OK, and on this one let's draw another rectangle in the bottom left hand corner and one that's more skinnier. Click OK, and we'll insert another reference plane, click plane 1, and we'll make this one 200 millimeters away also, click OK, and let's sketch a square in the middle. Click OK. And let's insert our last plane. Click Reference Geometry. Click Plane. Click Plane 2. And we'll make this one 400 millimeters away. Click Enter. Click OK. And for this square, let's make it enclose all of the three sketches that we've already made. Click OK. Now click Isometric View. And we can see the three sketches that we've made and how they can come together. Now for this part of the tutorial let's click top and we'll click 3D sketch and click the spline tool. We're going to make now the curve that the extruded loft is going to follow when it goes through these four sketches. Naturally it would go through such as that but for this tutorial, let's exaggerate it a bit. Click Accept, click Isometric View, and you can see this is the path that we're going to make our sketches follow. So let's click Feature, click Extruded Loft, open up the tree, and let's select all of our sketches. Click OK, and there you go. We've created a path for all of our sketches to follow through the extruded loft. Now to see what it would be without the sketch that we put in, let's see. Let's delete the loft that we just created. And let's do an extruded loft base by using just the, just the sketches. Click OK. And that's the extruded loft that we would have had. And you can see the profile line of where ours was. So you're able to manipulate this lofted tool to whatever specs you want it to be. Now let's delete this loft. And let's customize this 3D plane that we made once again. Click Edit Sketch. And every point that you see such as that, you're able to pull in or pull out more and do what you want. So let's play around with these a little bit. Pull this one out more. We'll pull that one in. Now click OK. Click Isometric. 
and let's do the loft again. Let's select all the sketches. And for the guide curve, click the 3D sketch. Click OK. And there's our extrude. This concludes our tutorial on advanced lofted base.